Google Drive is a cloud-based storage platform that seamlessly integrates with all your Google productivity apps and allows you to collaborate effectively in real time with anyone. Hey team, welcome back. I hope everyone is all good and well. Now today I'm excited to dive into this Google Drive tutorial for beginners and show you how to use Google Drive for storing information, engaging in real-time collaboration, sharing files and folders, and also optimizing productivity for your small business all within Google Drive. Okay, now just quickly before we cut to the chase and launch right into Google Drive, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online in 2021. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and get started with Google Drive. Okay, so let's get right into Google Drive. Now, to get started with Google Drive, you have two options. You can get started with a free individual plan. So that's by signing up to a free Google account if you don't already have one. And that way you'll have access to 15 gigabytes of free storage. However, if you work with a small team, you're a small business, medium or large, and you want to engage with your team, then I recommend getting started with Google Workspace. And this is the paid version of a free Google account. You'll have access to a professional business email rather than a free Gmail email. And you'll also have access to 30 gigabytes of storage within Google Workspace's business starter. And you'll have access to other paid features too. But today we're just going to highlight Google Drive and dive into the free version of Google Drive using a free individual plan. So if you're a complete beginner today and you haven't already created a free Google account, you don't have access to a Gmail, you don't have a Google account, then go ahead and sign up to a free account. So right now I'm going to head over to our Google Drive. Okay, so here we are within our Google Drive. Now if you want to directly access Google Drive, you can simply type in drive.google.com into your browser and that's going to take you to Google Drive. Now there are many ways that you can access your Google Drive account. Another simple way to access Google Drive is to head over to your Gmail inbox. Now, if you're on your computer and you're trying to locate your Gmail online, then simply head over to mail.google.com in your browser, and that's going to take you directly to your inbox. And within your Gmail, if you want to head over to your Google Drive, you can simply navigate up to apps in the top right hand corner and then navigate down to drive. You can also rearrange your apps if you like to make it easier for you to find the apps that are more important for you. Then once you've found Google Drive, simply click on Google Drive and that's going to take you to your drive interface. Now, it's important to note that you can also download Google Drive onto PC or Mac and you can sync your Google Drive account across all your devices. If you also want to access your Google Drive on mobile device, you can download the app for Google Drive on iOS and Android. So essentially, Google makes it easy for you to access Google Drive across any device, online and offline. Okay, so now what we're going to do is cover all the important features and elements you need to know to really make the most of Google Drive, either for yourself or with a team. From uploading files and folders, sharing and collaborating with others, and understanding the tools and features within Google Drive. Okay, so firstly, if you want to change the layout of your Google Drive, what you can do is simply navigate up to this icon select list or grid view and that way you can view your documents and folders the way that you like so i'm going to select list view i like the list view you can see up here i have quick access these are files and folders that i frequently access now there are two simple methods to quickly upload folders and files to your google drive the first way is drag and drop for example if i drag a file from my computer over my drive you can see that I can simply drag and drop to add this file to my drive so if I drop that file you can see that that file has already been uploaded now the same goes for a folder I can simply drag and drop a folder into my drive and you can see that my folder is now being uploaded depending on the size of your folder or file it can take a moment to upload so you can see that I've simply uploaded a file and a folder so I'm going to click exit 
I can also navigate to the top left hand side of my drive and click new and then simply click file upload or folder upload and easily upload my files or folders through this method. Now under new, I can also go ahead and create a new folder. For example, if I click folder, I can come down here and name my new folder and then come down and click create. And here you can see I now have two folders. I have my folder that I uploaded and then a folder that I just created called reports for client A. Now, if you wanna upload new files to a folder, what you can do is simply drag and drop like we showed you earlier, hover above the folder and simply drop that file into the new folder. And that new file will be simply added to the folder. And if you wanna add an original folder or file to your new folder or another folder, then you can simply drag and drop also. For example, if I select this file here, I can simply drag and drop that file into this new folder or you can select the file that you want to move and then right click and then navigate down to move to. And then you can just select the folder that you want to move this item to. It's a very straightforward process. Now, another great thing about Google Drive is you can access dozens of powerful productivity apps within Google Drive for free. For example, if we navigate up to new, we can come down to these other applications. For example, we can create a new Google Doc, Google Sheets, Google Slides or Google Forms. Now, if you navigate over to the arrow, you can create a blank document or you can build from a template. We can also navigate down to more and see other productivity applications that we can use. And you can even build a free website with Google Sites. If you're interested in learning how to do this, what we'll do is link a Google Sites tutorial up above that will guide you through how to create a free website within minutes. Then below this, we have other apps and more apps that we can connect to. Now, if you decided to get started with one of these Google productivity apps, say for example, you wanted to create a new Google document, then as soon as you open that Google document, that's gonna be saved into your drive. Okay, so now let's navigate over some of the options that we can choose to do with our uploaded files or folders. For example, if I click on this file here, this is a Google document, you will notice that up on the right hand corner, we have some options that have appeared. For example, starting on the left hand side, we have get link. And then under get link, you can see that I now have a link for this document. If I click copy link, I can send this link to individuals or groups and they can collaborate with me. As you can see, no one has been added yet. What I can do is with restricted, I can change this to anyone with the link. Now anyone on the internet with this link can view this document. I can also change the permission level from viewer down to commenter or editor. If I click editor, the permission has been updated and the individuals that I share this link to can now collaborate with me on the specific document. And with this link, I can simply send that to the individuals that I want to collaborate with. Then what I wanna do now is come down and click done. And then again, if we navigate up to the top right and next to get link, we have share. If we click share, this is where we can add emails of individuals we want to collaborate with. So simply add people or groups that you want to engage with on this specific file. And then just click done. Next to share, we have preview. If we click preview, we can essentially preview the document. We can also print, download, or access more options. For example, sharing, moving this file to a folder, we can star this file and rename. So we have simple options there. What I'm gonna do is exit out of that one and then navigate over to the right hand side again. You can see that we can remove this file if we like. We have more actions here. Some of these actions I've already covered. I can show file location if this file is in a folder. I can also add this file to drive, move to a specific folder. I can add to start, rename, view details, make a copy of this file, and then I can download this file if I like. And lastly, up here we have the information or details about the specific file. So you can see details over on the left hand side down here. And then on activity, you can see the recent activity, which is especially important if you're collaborating with other individuals and you can see the recent activity on that specific file. So what I'm gonna do is exit out of that. Now I can also navigate up to search in drive and I can search for specific files or folders within my drive and that is very straightforward. 
Then if we navigate over to the left hand side under new, you can see that we have my drive selected. This is your drive. If we select this little arrow, you can see our folders within our drive. Then below that we have shared with me. If I select this, this is where you can see files and folders that have been shared with you. These are files and folders that you can collaborate with individuals on. Below that we have a recent. These are recent activities, folders and files that you've been engaging with. This is a common place if you access specific folders and files on a regular basis. Below recent we have starred. These are any files or folders that you've decided to star. Essentially those files and folders that are important for you. Then below starred we have trash. These are any of your items that you've moved to trash. You want to make sure that you empty your trash on a regular basis as you only have access to 15 gigabytes of free storage. Now if you do want to upgrade to more storage, you find you're running out of space, then you can go ahead and buy storage by simply clicking buy storage. Here Google will take you to their paid membership plans and as you can see they're very affordable. If you need more storage then you can simply go ahead and upgrade to the best option that works for you. As you can see it's incredibly affordable, you can pay monthly or you can pay yearly. Ok so let's quickly head back to our Google Drive. And here we are back on our Google Drive. Now remember once you've uploaded any folders or files, if you want to make specific actions you can simply click on the individual folder or file and you'll have options up above on the right hand side or you can simply right click on the folder or file and that's going to take you to these other actions that we briefly explained before. And that is essentially everything we wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial. What we'll do is create a more advanced tutorial later on down the track that's going to give you more in-depth look into each of the tools and apps and ways that you can fully optimize and utilize your Google Drive. And there we have it guys, that is it for this complete overview to help you get started with Google Drive. Now if you have any questions about this Google Drive tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value from this Google Drive tutorial, then make sure you leave a comment, a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.